What's up guys? Welcome back to J Rule Productions. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Ankaka Tactical Pen for a spectacular price of $10.98. I was in the market for something affordable and something that's tactical with a lot of multi-purpose tools I can take with me to the beach or on hiking trips to stay protected. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Oh my goodness guys. Look at this astonishing Ankaka Tackle Pen. It retails for only $10.98 with free shipping. Look at all these great reviews. Wow. It's made of ultra strong aircraft aluminum. Low profile, lightweight, I believe only three ounces. Right smoothly with plenty of refillable ink. And it's ultra durable with self-defense. Includes even a tungsten tip window breaker. So for further details, check out their Amazon page. And this is a breakdown for what this whole set includes. Can't wait to unbox it. So here's the packaging. Ankaka Tactical Bin. Made in China. Properly wrapped up. Nice, beautiful case. Oh wow, look at this. So this brochure explains a little bit of how to use it. Built-in flashlight, pin clip, ballpoint pen, aircraft aluminum, tungsten carbide defense tip, multi tool. And here is on the back, explains a little bit of how to use it. Alright, let's look at the pen in itself. Oh wow, this is beautiful. It comes with... Um, two extra refill ballpoint pen well actually it's more than that guys it looks like there is one underneath each so four extra ones assuming there's one already in the pen and extra set of batteries i believe yes extra bit of interchangeable batteries let's go ahead and pull out the pen look how beautiful this pen is guys so the length of this is about six and a half inches so here is how the Ankaka Tactical Pen compares with everyday tools such as a Sharpie marker, a pen, a pen with a fan, expandable batten, a box cutter, and a Phillips screwdriver. And half inch in diameter, and it only weighs about 3 ounces or 75 grams. There you see the Ankaka logo right there. Here is the clip that you can hold onto any shirt or pant pocket. And in terms of concealability, the tactical pen fits perfectly inside the shirt pocket. All right, so I have inside my pocket the tactical pen and also ASP batten. Guess which is which? Not really that noticeable, huh? So here is ASP concealable batten. And here is the uh, tactical pen. It's got nice grooves right here, diamond grooves for a better grip. The pen is definitely handsomely crafted and designed. It has a solid feel and rigid sturdiness to it. And it's made of aircraft aluminum grade material. Both lightweight and also strong. Let's go ahead and go through all the functions. Here is the tungsten carbide tip that can break glass. And also acts as a self-defense pen. And if you unscrew the front right here, it unveils a multi-tool, which is a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. So I have a cabinet with a loose screw. Let's go ahead and tighten this down with the flathead screwdriver. That goes in pretty smoothly. Let's say if I want to loosen it. And Notice it's turning a little bit, so make sure you tighten it. All right, that's all the way tightened, and you can also unscrew it. Very handy. With a little saw blade right here, and the hex head to remove or uh, tighten bolts. And here is the bottle opener that we used in earlier footage. It's empty inside. I believe you could buy interchangeable tools such as a knife or... Uh, a uh, fire striker 
So we're gonna screw that back in. Now we're gonna unveil the pin. If you unscrew the middle and unveil the ballpoint pin, let's go ahead and see how this writes. So the top doesn't really screw onto there. All right, here we go. I'm gonna sign my autograph. J. Ru, thank you and Kaka. That writes real smooth. And in order to refill or change the uh, ink cartridge, you unscrew the pen, unveil that, and you simply insert the new one through this uh, spring mechanism and then pop it back in. Simple as that. So if you look down the chamber of the pen, there is the battery. That's, that's got to be for the LED flashlight. Alright, we will unscrew the top. Here is a button for the flashlight. And I think the reason why it's not working right now is because it's blocked by a paper or a barrier. Here's the battery and stuff. I believe we flip it to the proper side. It should light on. Yep, that's one mode. Here's a strobe effect that you could disorient it, disorient your attackers. One more press to turn it off, real handy in dark situations. All right, let's see how bright the flashlight is inside a dark room. So let's say if I was to hold it in a self-defense situation, here is how much space I would have. That's about, what, close to three inches of striking power. Let's go ahead and test this out in self-defense survival situations. Oh, what's that noise? Alright guys, the report card is finally in. Do I recommend this Ankaka tactical pen? Of course I do, because this is your everyday carry self-defense weapon. It's highly concealable and truly tactical to get take with you anywhere on the go, hiking trip, camping trips, to the beach, to the mall, wherever you want to go and stay well protected with not only the flashlight, in addition to the window breaker in case you know your car falls into the lake or river and you need to get yourself out. And it writes real well. Spectacular price for under $11. I think that's the best deal on Amazon. All I have is high praises for this pen. Now some of you guys are probably wondering, is this TSA approved? All I can say is make sure you check on your uh, local TSA airport website to make sure it's approved. Or you can take the chances with slipping it in along with your other pens. And uh, hopefully it gets checked out all right. But don't just pull it in you know, wrap it hidden away or somewhere by itself where they might think, what is going on? What is so special about this pen, you know? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your family.